Guys, welcome back to the third episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Today, we're going to be making homemade sausage rolls. Now, I'm going to be making two different types. Um, one is going to be sage and onion, um, and the other is going to be haggis um, and uh, sausage meat. Uh, sausage rolls. So, we've got the sausage meat now. You can, two ways you can do this, you can buy the sausage meat like I have and make your own or you can uh, get your favourite sausages and simply take the skins off them, mash them all together um, with your favourite ingredients and hey presto, ready made sausage meat. So we've already covered the haggis, the sausage meat, we've got onion, we've got sage and we've got ready roll pa uh, pastry. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm making my own pastry, these recipes are for the home cook. If you do make your own puff pastry, brilliant, um, but the ready buy stuff is just the same. So let's get cracking. these out the way. So first of all what I'm going to do because we have I am making two different types I'm just going to cut this sausage meat in two move that over there for later and bring in this bowl. Now I'm just going to mix it up a bit make sure your hands are nice and clean. Go on and add in some onion there. Now the onion has been finely diced, not like the soup. Um, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Now we're going to get a good handful of sage in there and we're just going to combine that. Mix it together. Like I said, these are nice, straightforward, easy recipes. Let's get that into a bowl. Now I've already got the oven on, 200 preheated, and I have a tray that's sitting nice, at, just out of camera there, that's got um, greaseproof paper on it, ready for the sausage rolls. So just going to pop that like that, nice and straightforward. First one is done. Just going to give our hands a quick wash. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring over the haggis. Now, I'm going to cut this in half and probably cut it in half again. I'm not going to be using this because it is quite a lot. Bring in the second part. Now, again, I'm just going to mix this up. Again, I am going to add in just a little bit of the onion and a little bit of the sage just to help it along. Then I'm going to crumble in the haggis so that you, when you do get a bite of it, hopefully it should hold its texture but also bring it in. So let's just oh, throw it all over the place. So let's bring this in and just again don't be scared to get your hands in it. Again we're looking to make it into relatively like a sausage shape. Again, just going to put that to the side. Now, just going to give the knife a quick wash and re wash my hands. And give my board a quick wipe. Now 
nice clean board. All right, let's get some. Give it a quick dry. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is bringing in the puff pastry. Just unroll it. Now, what we want to do is make sure that we get a nice golden brown colour. Now, to get a nice golden brown, what we need to do, quite simply, let me just move that out of the way just now, get your egg. Need a quick fork. We're just going to make a nice simple whisk your egg up. So you've got it nice in there. Now we're going to just bring this pastry back in because what we're going to do is now this is the sausage meat with um, just sage and onion, healthy portion, roll this out a little bit more and what we're going to do, I'm just going to cut right down the middle so that we've got two different sets, you can see there and then we're just going to get this and we're putting quite close to the edge and just level it out so that you, anybody who's having this they get a good bit of the sausage meat in each one in each bite so we've got our hands there then all we're going to do nice and gently is just tuck that up and peel it back roll it over now we just want to make sure that we've sealed in the sausage meat we have it there and that's the first one done second one this is the one with the haggis in it we repeat the process so we, we again spread out the sausage meat and haggis mixture that we've crumbled in now you get haggis from any local shops these days it's not a taste for everyone that's why I'm making two different sets my kid doesn't like it but I do so I'm just going to tuck that in Tidy up the edges. Now, obviously, if you're being fancy, you can keep it as one big sausage roll. What I'm going to do with this, because we've got it, I'm going to cut them into mini sausage rolls. Relatively all the same size so that they, they all cook at the same time now the egg wash mixture we're going to bring in got our little pastry brush and we're just going to give it 
are quick. Cool. Yep. I'm going to do the same with this row. Put that to the side. Now, just to make sure, so nobody who doesn't like haggis doesn't um, pick up the wrong ones, I'm just going to put two slits in the haggis ones. That also lets the steam out, keeps the pastry nice and crisp. And one slit for the normal sage and onion. And we'll get them there. So now what we're going to do, just transfer it over to the, the pan. So these have all now been decanted into the grease proof paper pan, separating them out a little bit, just to make sure that when they do puff up, they've got room to puff up and they're not going to um, get all soggy edges, etc. So now we're going to just do it, pop them in the oven. I've got the oven at 200 degrees. Like I said, it's been preheated, so it should be fine and these will be in for about 20 25 minutes but keep an eye on them and when they're nice and gross, crispy and golden brown um, and you make sure the middle's cooked um, they'll be perfect let's see, see them when they come out right guys so that's been 20 minutes in my oven maybe slightly different to yours and here's the finished articles nice and crispy just before I put them in the oven I sprinkled a little bit of salt on top you can see that there so let's get these plated up and let's see how they taste so guys here we are um, finished article you can see there the haggis is oozing out absolutely beautiful crispy on the top just the way we like it that was the egg wash, makes a big difference to that. Your normal sage and onion in there as well. Listen, um, looking absolutely beautiful. Let's cut one of these open and see what we're talking about. I don't know if you heard the crunch. Absolutely perfect, look at that. Beautiful in the middle. Oh guys, fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a, a comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.